so I want to welcome you guys in to Tommy Bites TV recording live and direct from the Love's Truck Stop, bringing you news that you can use and maybe cannot use is up to you. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it. Hey, what's up fam? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm sitting here at the truck stop, at the Love's Truck Stop while my husband's working on his truck. So I'm sitting in the truck because every now and then I have to hit the um, air pressure thing, the majiggy, you know, I don't know anything about no trucking. So <laughs> I'm just trying to help him out so maybe he can get that part together. Um, but I wanted to bring you this story because on Friday um, it was announced that a major pharmacy will be closing 400 locations. And no, this is not the same story that I brought you before. This is a different pharmacy. So when I told you then, I said it was going to continue to happen. Well, it is happening. And I'm trying to sit strategically so you can't see how beat up <laughs> his stuff is but this is real life over here y'all so um what's happening right now is going to affect a lot of homes and we're coming in on uh september fall is hitting winter is hitting um kids are going back to school if they haven't already started buying winter clothes and uh stocking up your homes you know as the squirrels do sorry about that uh, we need to be doing it now because we don't know what company is going to be the next company that is going to fall, that is going to fail. Um, the economy is not looking up. Doesn't mean that it won't ever, but right now it is not. And this truck stop on a what is this, Monday? This is awfully full for a Monday. So Rite Aid is right now preparing to file Chapter 11 bankruptcy, allegedly, because they have not come out and said that that is what is happening. They say those are rumors, but as of their report on Friday and their shares dropping 50%, that's the way it is going. I did not know that they were being sued as much as they're being sued by the federal government. The federal government is suing Right Aid over filling prescriptions and not monitoring how they fill them when it comes to their customers and customers becoming addicted to opioids. Now I don't know when the federal government took such a big issue with that when the whole crack situation took place it's alleged that the federal government is the one that put that stuff into the community and so now all of a sudden the federal government is suing the pharmacy for filling prescriptions that were written by doctors and physician assistants why aren't they suing them why are they suing the pharmacies? Is this a money grab? Is this to look good because it is an election year coming up? Y'all, you got to pay attention to that shiny red ball that they're trying to keep us from looking at, okay? So in 2021, Rite Aid closed 239 stores. In 2022, they closed 145 stores. And they are slated to close even more stores this year as of june 3rd the end of that quarter so that's 27 stores that they closed as of june 3rd they have about 2284 locations that are remaining and now they're closing 400 of those allegedly let me put that in there okay so it was in april that the federal government actually filed the lawsuits against right aid and them filing the bankruptcy will allow them to reject any lease um meaning they would not have to pay any lease to stay anywhere it will also put the opioid users down as claimants as well in the bankruptcy 
so I moved over to my truck for now um, the journal the Wall Street Journal is also stating that Rite Aid has over a thousand lawsuits against them in the state of Ohio so in conclusion Rite Aid released a statement and they said that what they're going through with this bankruptcy is nothing that no other company is not facing and will not be facing so more companies will be facing you know bankruptcy filings this is possible for companies that you think are doing well and it's not to say that they're not doing great because they you know they were slated to make so many billions at the beginning of the quarter in 2023 but instead they came in around 506 million dollars that's still a lot of money but they do have these lawsuits over their heads they don't know how the judge is going to you know determine how much money they're going to have to pay the federal government so that's so they really cannot say how much money they're going to have to pay out they don't know how many more stores will close but they do know that these stores are closing and i want you guys to know that you need to be preparing now for you know this economy collapse because it is slowly happening store by store bank by bank it is happening restaurant by restaurant these places are closing employees are losing their jobs the rich are going to remain rich the poor are going to be poor the middle class is probably going to end up poor by the end of it all and here we have an election year coming prepare and brace for the craziness of it all because it is happening and it is happening now y'all take care pray plan prep please take the time to stock your homes up with the items that you need cold and flu season is here my allergies are bothering me at least i hope it's just allergies um yeah and i pray for you all i really really do i love you i thank you for supporting the channel um and i'll see you guys in the next video i love you but god truly loves you more he created only one you be the best you that you can be and when you are go out and spread god's love peace love and light thanks for being here on tiny lights tv switches I want to thank each of you personally for signing up and joining the membership. If you would like to join, click the button on the home screen. Oh, I wish it was me every night when I close my